This research is about the molecular mechanisms of, of aging. We uh, were interested in uh, the question how cells age uh, and we were particularly interested to understand why uh, people who suffer from hodgkin guilford progeria, which is also referred to as a premature aging disease, uh, what could be the underlying causes of that disease. And this is really devastating to the patients who die typically their teenage years, uh, but they look like uh, old, like 90 year olds. Progeria cells have a problem in, uh, in, in a particular protein, and this mutation uh, causes uh, a substructure of the cell nucleus to be enlarged. And the substructure is called the nucleolus. It's the major site for the synthesis of the machines in our cells that produce proteins. We used um, primary cells from patients that were afflicted with this disease who donated skin biopsies and then cells were grown out of those skin biopsies. Um, and we analyzed the behavior of those cells and also um, features of their uh, protein stability. What I found um, kind of surprisingly was that all of the proteins that I could detect were turning over more rapidly. They were um, less stable in cells derived from patients with this disease. So that suggested to us that there was a really dramatic shift in protein metabolism in premature aging that had not been um, understood in the past. It results in a net increase of protein synthesis in the cell. And protein synthesis is an extremely energy consuming uh, process. So what we think is happening in the fact that they have this increased nucleoli, they also deplete their energy sources to uh, a detrimental level. And uh, we see, interestingly, this uh, energy depletion also during normal human aging. And so since we found uh, the size of this nucleoli to increase in, in aging, we actually now are trying to see if we can use just the size and the uh, synthesis rates of ribosome as a biomarker for, for aging. In, in all those studies, this kind of biomarker would be very useful to have to kind of track the aging process. And that would open up, I think, a new way of studying aging in, in humans.